Let's rank 28 different chest binders and work out which one is the best. Welcome folks to the first ever Bindies, a completely made up awards ceremony celebrating different types of chest binders. My name's Robin Holdaway, my pronouns are they, them, I'm an actor and activist and I review lots of different types of chest binders and create other trans educational content. Please do look at my page for more information. Today I will be announcing the winner and the first runner-up of all the different categories that you can see on your screen. I will then be releasing a series of videos that go in-depth into each category to explain my scoring and my reasoning. These are all the different brands that I'm going to be looking at. Please note I don't own any Underworks or GC2B binders so they will not be included in our selection today. Starting with the award for best compression, I know this is super important to so many of you. To decide this I measured my unbound chest and then measured each of the binders to see which offered me the flattest and the best level of compression. Measuring yourself accurately is really challenging so in in order to make this as fair as I could, I took a measurement at the widest point of my chest, unbound, and then as I put on each binder, I measured myself at that same point or as close to it as I could find, and I took the smallest possible measurement. To be honest, most of these binders reduce my chest somewhere between one and two inches using this scale of measurement at the time of measuring. It may be that you see other videos that I've done and I mention a higher level of compression, that may be because I measured it at a different point in my chest or on a different day because my body fluctuates and so do binders. So our winner with an impressive 2.2 inches compression at the time of measurement is Spectrum Outfitters Short Chest Binder. Our first runner-up is actually a tie between Weavov's Core Binder and their Racerback Core Binder. These are two very similar chest binders, except one's a standard back and one's a racerback. They both came in with an impressive two inches of compression. Next up is a category that is very close to my heart, quite literally, it is the most comfortable binder. This is based on the softness of the fabric and the seams, whether it rubs or digs in anywhere, the range of motion it allows, how easy it is to breathe in and how easy it is to put on and take off again. Our winner for most comfortable binder is Wanna Baby's Ultra Comfortable, or at least it was called their Ultra Comfortable, I believe now it's their standard pullover sports binder. And the first runner up for most comfortable is for them's The Binder. Money matters, so I thought I'd do an award for the best budget binder. Now the binders I considered are all under £35 with post and packaging to the UK. Also, please note, this is what the binders are at full price, not at sale price. If I was including sale price, there might have been a few more, but I want to keep it consistent for you. So this is the full price as listed on their website at the time that I looked this up. The winner for our best budget binder is... The Weave of Core and the Weave of Racerback Binder. Our first runner-up budget binder is Wanna Baby's Ultra Flat Binder. Just a side note, the cheapest binder that I've tried is LGBT Unicorn's Liberator Binder. Moving on to another topic that's really dear to me, which brand is the most sustainable and ethical? This is based on information I could find about their materials, the packing process and their working practices. Our winner of the most sustainable and ethical brand is... A tie between Amore Sensory and Tomboy X. And our first runner-up for most sustainable and ethical is Spectrum Outfitters. In an increasingly popular market, which is great for us, brands need to find a new way to stand out. So the winner for the most innovative binder is based on how innovative they are in terms of their cut, their fabric, and their branding and marketing. The winner for the most innovative binder is, for them's The Binder. Our runner-up for most innovative design is Spectrum Outfitters Short Chest Binder and also, it's a tie, Paxi's Sports Side Zip Binder. Now anyone following me knows I tend to favour short chest binders, but there are some amazing long chest binders out there. I don't have as many to judge between in terms of long binders, so I've just done the winner for this one, and the winner for the best long chest binder that I found is Wanna Baby's Ultra Flat Long Chest Binder. This next category I appreciate that I am not the best judge for, however it was a very requested category and it's something I had a lot of questions about. So there is an award for the best binder for larger bodies. So I've based this award on the construction of the binder, the level of model representation on things like their website and their branding, the size availability, so how big or small the binder comes, and the feedback that I've heard about the binder ideally from larger people. So our winner in the best for larger bodies category is Spectrum Outfitters Short Chest Binder. Our first runner up is a More Sensories Chest Binder. Now please note I only tried a More Sensories standard short chest binder. They do have one specifically designed 
for people with fuller chests. I can't judge that one as I don't have it, but I have also heard fantastic things about that one too. It was so hard to judge the best buyer experience in this category because every company I've worked with legitimately has been lovely. It's been full of queer people, so it's been super welcoming. Customer service across the board has been great. So this category is based on a number of options. This includes their shipping and returns policy, as well as their overall delivery times, the website design and how accessible that website is. So things like, do they include alternate text? how easy is the website to navigate and use, and how diverse and inclusive the brand seems to be. Now again, I only have access to the websites and what everyone else can see, so I can never really know what goes on behind the scenes, but this is based on things like model representation, statements, things that the brand says they value, stuff like that. Our winner for the best purchasing experience is a more sensory. Our runner-up is a tie between Spectrum Outfitters and Tomboy X. Another popular category coming up. Now, I don't tend to exercise in a binder, but I have had the good fortune of trying workout specific compression wear, sports bras, and even a couple of workout binders. Our winner for best workout binder is Weevov's Agile Sports Binder. Our runner-up is a tie between two Tomboy X binders, their standard compression top and their racerback compression top. Discretion is so important in our community, whether you're stealth or whether you're not yet out or whether you're just a private person. The discretion marks are based on the branding, the packaging and purchasing, and how easy it is to hide or disguise the binder. Our winner for the most discreet binder is the Outplay Roraima compression top. There were quite a few garments with the same discretion score for runner-up, so these include Spectrum, Tomboy X, and Paxis. Swimming can be such a challenge for so many trans folk, and while you can actually swim in quite a lot of these binders, they're made of swim-safe fabric, they may not always be the best choice, especially for more intensive swims. There are, however, some binders and compression tops that are specifically designed for swimming. So, out of those, and there's not many of them, but our winner is Outplay's Swimmy Compression Top. Now, I know that many people have increased sensory needs, and binders can be a real challenge for them. To help me with this category, my wife, who has higher sensory needs than me, sat down with me and we looked at all the binders involved. We looked at things like the thickness of the seams, whether there were any internal labels, the fabric itself, and the overall awareness of sensory needs by the brand. Our winner for the most sensory-friendly binder, it's in the name, it's a More Sensories short chest binder. Our runner-up is the Weave of Agile hook and eye chest binder. Some companies do it all, and they have an impressive range of different types of products for trans people. I counted up the amount of specific gender-affirming garments that a brand offers and decided our winner. I will note, I didn't count different colors of the same thing. I only looked at very specific different items. Our winner of the widest range of gender-affirming garments is Untag. Our runner-up is Paxi's. Before I get to the best overall binder, and I promise you it is coming, I want to give a special shout out to Futist, or Fittist, as has now been pointed out to me by multiple people, including my wife, because apparently I just can't read vowel sounds, so Futist or Fittist. This was a fantastic binder company that did sadly shut down this year. I have got a selection of their binders and I included them for some of these metrics and they scored really highly on comfort, on compression and on sensory needs. If you are lucky enough to own one of these binders, please do treasure it and I think as a community it's really tragic that these guys have gone so I wanted to give them their own sort of special acknowledgement award. So yes, futist or fittest, however you say it, well done, your binders are fantastic, and I really hope we do see you again in some way or form. Now here it is. It is the moment you have all been waiting for. It is the reason you are still watching this video, I imagine, and probably follow me. Which binder is the best binder overall? To work out the best overall binder, I combined each binder's score in comfort, compression, innovation, purchasing experience, discretion, price, and sustainability and ethics. As I'm sure you'll have noticed, a few names have come up multiple times in this video, and our overall winner combines all of these different categories and comes in for under £40, it's Spectrum Outfitters Short Chest Binder. Thank you so much for watching this video. As I said, I do have reviews of all of the binders I've mentioned. They're all on my page. Do please come and check it out. Give me a follow because I will be breaking down all of these categories to describe all of the different binders that I've used so that you can make up your own mind. And that's the important thing. This is only my opinion and is based solely on my experience. This has a sample size of one, which as I'm sure statisticians will tell you, isn't necessarily great for 
pretty much anything. However, I hope it has been helpful to you. All of the binders that I have reviewed have positives and negatives, and what I might not vibe with or might not work for me might work really well for you. So like I said, please watch my reviews, please get the binders and make up your own mind. I'd love to see you stitch this video or duet it with your opinions. What did I get right? What did I get wrong? I'm sure I've done plenty in both categories. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.